All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install RetroBat on your Windows PC. Now, RetroBat is a front end system, uh, just like Botticera or Emulation Station. Uh, so, RetroBat supports anything from Atari all the way up to the Switch. So I'm going to be leaving you uh, three links in the pinned comment of this video. So you're going to head over to my page. You're going to scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. So you're going to have the official RetroBat page. And you're also going to have the RetroBat 6.4 download page. This is going to be a GitHub page. Uh, so RetroBat emulates over 100 plus systems. Uh, you're going to need to run the RetroBat.exe file and install it to your C drive. You must also have the Visual C++ program. You're going to be able to use the Xbox One controller or the PS4 and many others. Uh, with RetroBat, you're going to be able to download the themes, add box art, with the game scraper and add overlays. The games are going to go in the ROMs folder for each system. So now first for the RetroBat official page. So this is the official page, RetroBat.org. So you can go through it. It's going to give you the minimum requirements that you're going to need to install RetroBat. Uh, you're going to be able to also make this portable so you can add the files to the USB and you can run it um, on any laptop or computer. So here it's going to show you what all the systems that are compatible with it. Now for the official download. Uh, this is going to be a GitHub page. So you're going to scroll down until you find the RetroBat version 6.4.0 stable Win64 setup. So you just download the exe file. You're going to have to run the program. So this is what it's going to look like. Just double click it and um, install the program. So it's going to create a folder. So RetroBat 6.4 version. You're going to go into it. Um, as for the ROMs, just go for the ROMs folder. And this is all the folders for all the systems that are supported. So just double click on the folder and then drag and drop your games in each folder. Uh, now we're going to run it. So to run the program, you're just going to go to retrobat.exe application. So double click on that. Uh, make sure you have your controller. Uh, for me, I'm going to be using the Xbox One controller. So this is basically what it's going to look like. Now, any of the systems that you're going to add ROMs to is going to be displayed. So I've added a Nintendo game, NES. I've added a Super Nintendo game and an N64 game. Now when you go into the emulator for each, uh, so I have chosen to pick the box art but you can also change it in the menu if you know how if you don't have the box art you can go over to the scraper and then it's going to scrape your game and download the covers just go to scrape now I've already done it so that's NES Super Nintendo, same thing. I already scraped it. So I have Super Mario World. 
and then for the Nintendo 64 I got Super Mario 64 if you select the start menu you can go over to the user interface settings uh, if you want to change themes uh, just go to the theme set and you'll be able to change themes you can also go over to updates and downloads go to themes so this is going to list off a whole bunch of themes that you can download so just scroll up and down once you find a theme that you like just select it it's going to begin to download it and then it's going to extract it and then you'll be able to uh, change the theme over uh, you can also go over to sound settings you, you can uh, turn the volume up and down you can shut the front music off You can also go to game collection settings, change anything that you want in here. So this is basically going to work out of the box. Uh, some systems are going to require you to have the BIOS files and some other files like keys. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're adding your uh, games to each of the emulators. So when you load up a game, it's going to have the overlays already set up. So we're going to load Super Mario 3. And as you can see, it's got the overlays. Now when you want to exit and go back to the main menu, you're just going to select the start and select button on the Xbox controller. That'll take you back. We're going to load up a Super Nintendo game. So Super Mario World. And there's the overlay. And like I said, this is basically compatible all the way up to the Switch. So we're going to load up uh, Super Mario 64. I'll exit out and back to the main menu so there you go so that's how you set up uh, retro bat on your Windows PC I'm gonna leave all the links you're gonna need in the pin comment I hope you enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe and on to the next one